Welcome to Classic Car Arcade. This video is on the Citroen, just getting ready for the photographs to send off to Citroen Heritage. Um, you might see that the back is a lot squarer now. That's because we've got it blocked up. It's not fixed mechanically. All I've done is, is measured the height from the top of the springs to the top of the chassis and then we've used blocks. We've jacked it up and used blocks to go in there because the springs are not strong enough. And it's not because of the weight, it's just that they're very old. Um, so I'll either get some new springs if I can find the right size and the right uh, strength. Uh, but this is level now the way it is. So uh, I'll put this video up on Saturday when I do the photographs of the still photographs that are going off to Citroen for the uh, heritage or the ID documents. And then hopefully on Sunday I will do another one on the XK150. So I hope you enjoy the video. We'll make uh, uh, a new set of these that are corroded through. You can see that's the shape I need. And that extra piece there is for the rolled edge. So I'll use um, uh, a small piece of steel and roll that edge afterwards. And obviously these are a spacer to keep it away from the body. The other one's gone. So I'll make two of these and uh, fit them up and I'll cut them out now. Go. Okay, so as far as the Citroen is concerned, that's the new piece I've made to go in the bottom. You can see that was in there originally like that, but it's rotten. So what I've got to do with this now is I've got it bolted in. I've got the, the strap on it and it looks quite good. It needs to be lined up properly. And the base of this needs to have some wire in it. And this needs a captive edge. But I want to get some photographs first and then I'll take this off and rework an edge into that and spot weld it on. And that's got to be moved forward a little bit. You can see it's too, the gap's a little bit too far there. I'll bring it so it's in line. I just need to elongate these holes slightly. Um, so I've left a little bit of on there. And I'll put the other one on the other side, but it's not, it's not bolted in. It's only one bolt in it. But you can see how this is here. If I, I have to lift it, lift it over the, excuse my, okay. So if I push down now, you can see there, which is a nice fit. And then it's quite nice along there. Um, so that's them two made at least and uh, yeah I think they look nice I've done them straight up and down I think they look a bit nicer like that and that one's obviously back at an angle uh, and obviously we put rubber along here as well <coughs> and get rid of this hole like I talked about I might just about to see it there. see there and I think I'm going to put a strengthener on the bottom. There is a strengthener inside it, but it's further up. I think I'll put one on the bottom because it's so far away there. So, still loads of work to do on it, but at least it will give it a good impression when we take the photograph. It's not bad for a start. So I just bought this piece of uh, round wood here. And this is what we think they're doing on the top, is obviously that would be cut at an angle, uh, at a picture angle. Uh, but what, what do you think? I think the first impressions, and what we do is I'd use a, um, a router and route in here, so it actually slid over the top of that. Um, and we would then, I mean, I was just saying, what we could do then is actually tighten it, we'd drill a hole under here and wherever, uh, and we just drill it up and catch it from underneath so there's nothing on top. But I think I think that'd look the nuts that. That'd finish it off real nice. Anyway, let me know what you think. Okay, so I've cut, I've cut this one down now and everything's in place. You can see there's the sorry, let me focus this. There's the extra one inside. And the same one there. And then what we'll do is we'll put some foam in here before we put the wood on the outside. And we have some other plans where we're going to put round wood on the top and we'll drill them from underneath and secure them so you don't see any. So, well that's all secured. Now. Pop this into place just now. Um, and you can see I've cut them down the edges there as well. Now, when I go to put these corners on, what will happen is you can see, see this one hasn't been done yet and you can see obviously once it's screwed to the side it'll be alright but I need to put this corner edge in there, here 
and you can see it's going to hit that on the back of it you can see it's going to hit that beading so I'll cut a little oval out in the center so it can go in as far as it possibly can if you see what I mean <coughs> so, this is me working on this left side now so there's the one in place I've just got to paint that up and I'm going to go back and cut this back and re-weld again so you see it's just tacked in but I need that to secure that plate on it it's obviously the wrong way around but I'll show you so to get that plate flush that's the only way I'll just be able to screw it down here and I need to make sure all the welds are off as well so that's what I'm doing now because we need the triangular bit to meet up against here but this for the plate to secure against so there we go another bit done well the back one's done I've got to do this one and then I've got to do the other side and when I eventually take the the bed off I'll do the back plate as well because obviously there's a plate to go on the back of that in between the uh, in between the cab and the, and the uh, pickup bed so I put these corner brackets on now and what I've done is just notched them out there because obviously this is secured constantly in here but this needs to slide back and I've actually made a, a recess in it so that uh, beading is shown so I'll open it up and I'll show you what I mean to take this off because I've got a clamp in it at the moment there we go oh. so you can see it comes down and then when it comes together it goes into that slot which I think is pretty good so I've just got to do the other end now and see how we get on I think that's going to work well. So that's that side done. All the corners are done on that side. The corners are done on this side as well now. Uh, basically all I've got to do is make this, this bottom piece, which I'll do tomorrow, which goes around these corners here. You can see where they rounded the, or rounded the box section and make that bottom piece. Um, and you might be able to see, if I come back far enough, you might be able to see that it's completely level now. I've checked it with the spirit level, or the Wasser Vaga, which is known in German. Um, yeah, it's completely level, but we've cheated. What I've done is I've, I've made two blocks to go between the spring and the chassis to keep it up, because obviously we're only pushing it in and out. So I'll get that bit done tomorrow. Um, try and paint some of the white bits over quickly, but you'll come back off and then I'll get some static photographs of it to get off to uh, Citroen. But there we are so far. But it's uh, looking a lot. And uh, it's nice and square now. That's how it will sit when it's, when it's finished. Questi giorni quando vieni il bel sole la 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 on days like these when skies are blue and fields are green I look around and think about what might have been And then I hear sweet music float around my head As I recall the many things we left unsaid Some day